Hey, what's up? My name is Jeremy Ginsberg, and I'm gonna do a quick guided demonstration of the Buteco breathing method. I have been through the online training programs. I worked with a coach one-on-one, -on -one, and I just want to share what I've learned so it's more accessible to other people who may not be able to afford it or just want a little introduction and want to do it themselves. So I just made another video that's way more informative so in this one, I'm just going to get into the practice so we can do it. All right? So get in a relaxed position. If you want to listen to music on top of my voice, that's fine. Um, don't do this while driving. You want to be, you know, basically as if it were a meditation or a walking meditation, you know, something like that. So just come to a regular breath. Just watch your breath. Notice it. And then after the next exhale... Hold your nose, keep the mouth closed, and just refrain from breathing in. It's been 10 seconds, 15, 20, and when you feel the urge to breathe, just take a small breath through your nose, rapid, fast breath. 30 seconds, that's a very healthy control pause. 35, and if you're still going, keep going. Otherwise, baby breaths, here we go. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, through the nose. For me, it helps to actually uh, open up my little nostrils. You should feel your diaphragm. And that's the first round, so it's a control pause. So you shouldn't really need much of a recovery. If you did need a recovery and you're feeling like you have a big... Uh, Starvation of oxygen right now, you probably went for a little bit long. So, coming back to normal breath now. And now we'll do maximum pause. We'll do three different maximum pauses. Each one we're going to build on the next. And the healthier, healthier, sorry, the healthier you are, the longer you'll be able to hold these. But sometimes we go through states of, of detoxification or if you just ate and it can really affect how long you can hold this. So, for the sake of just simplicity, we're going to do the maximum pause one, 30 seconds, maximum pause two, 45 seconds, maximum pause three, four, 60 seconds, and then the recovery time will be 90 seconds to two minutes. Um, but I encourage you to feel into whatever's right. If you feel like you need more time or you can go for longer, you can do that. So we'll start in about 10 more seconds, so just relaxing the body, coming to natural breath. And after your next exhale, you'll do hold. So I like to squeeze my nose and also my mouth, just in case any air doesn't sneak in, or also you don't want to release any air. So this is maximum pause one, just relaxing your body. The more relaxed you are, the longer you can hold this. If you feel some discomfort, that's okay. Try to relax into that. Five more seconds, you've got this. Stay with the hold. And now small belly breaths, in, out, in, out, through your nose, keep the mouth closed, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. You're breathing from your belly as fast as you can, as rapid as you can, but also gently, you're not forcing it. In, out, 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 in, out. And if you find it, you need to take a deep breath, that's okay. Just go back to the, the short ones as soon as you can. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. You can put your hand on your stomach if that helps. And then put a finger underneath your nose. Don't let yourself get distracted. Just do the breath. In, out, in, out, in, out. Nice, so that's one minute. So we'll do one more minute of recovery. Should be getting easier the longer you go. Just coming back to your equilibrium, feeling grounded, feeling relaxed, relaxing all the muscles in all your body. In, out, in, out, in, out. And you'll notice that uh, at the beginning, maybe it's like in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. 
But then later you just go in, out, in, out. You can slow it down because you're more in control, you're more relaxed, and you're closer to your natural equilibrium of the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide and the balance between the two. So we'll go for about 15 more seconds of recovery, in, out, in, out. You're never breathing through your mouth in Buteco. That is not uh, part of the Buteco method, so it's difficult to talk. Five more seconds, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and relaxing. Try not to do this ah, big exhale, just stay with the nose. Stay with the normal breaths. If you feel like, okay, you need a one deeper breath between, let yourself do that, but then go back to, you know, as short and shallow as a breath that feels comfortable, that's not harming yourself. As we prepare for maximum pause number two here. All right, so take a breath in, and after your exhale, hold. Again, you're not forcefully exhaling like, no, just a natural inhale, natural exhale, and hold. So it's 15 seconds. We'll go for 45. Just stay calm, stay centered, stay relaxed. You're safe. Your body may not feel safe, but you're safe. You're controlling your own stress response. It's 30 seconds, and if you need to move around a little bit, maybe shake. Do some stretching, release more carbon dioxide, also distract yourself from the discomfort. Here we go, five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and rapid nasal breathing. In, out, in, out, in, out. For me, it helps to bend my knees and just go to a meditative posture. Just relax. probably feel the healing effect taking place in your body. Sometimes it doesn't always feel comfortable or pleasant, but you definitely notice your body's shifting. So in, out, in, out, in, out. Short, rapid, nasal, belly breaths. You can feel your diaphragm. Again, if you're just beginning, it helps to have your one hand on your stomach, another under your nose, just to track the breathing. Closing the eyes, just relaxing. If you have a mantra, you can bring that into the practice or a visualization if you'd like. Just stay with the breath, stay with your body, stay focused, stay grounded, stay relaxed. Nice, another 45 seconds. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. You're proving that you are way stronger than the natural programming of your body. You have the power to influence your body, your breath, and your cells, and it's powerful. So even though you may feel some discomfort when you maintain that breath, in, out, in, out, in, out, you're basically saying, hey, diaphragm, I know you're freaking out, but we've got this. It's okay. We are way more strong than whatever we're facing right now. So five more seconds. And coming back to your normal breath. So if you're going like this, you can just go. But still staying with the diaphragm and the belly. You don't want to deplete all the carbon dioxide that you built up. And so Still keep the mouth closed, and we'll do a minute in between, so allow you to, to rest and recover before maximum pause, tres, where we're going to go a little bit harder, so prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, just relax, maybe feel your heartbeat, remember why you're doing this in the first place, come back to your motive, your intention, hopefully that can help you Get inspired. Just one more, you're almost there. 15 seconds and we'll start. So relaxing as much as you can. All right, so just take a next breath in. 
naturally when you breathe out. After you breathe out, hold. If you're into yoga or have studied the chakras, you can focus on your lower chakras. If you don't believe in that stuff, then just pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> Keep holding if you want to start moving and stretching. It's been 30 seconds now. If you want to hear some cracks, the more cracks, the better, the longer you can go. If you want to stand up and walk around or do some jumping jacks, whatever it is, Kind of keep it flowing. Keep the carbon dioxide being released from your body. 10 more seconds. You've got this. Keep going. A little bit longer. Hold it out. Just push, 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 push. And if you want to push longer, you can. But for everyone else who's ready, and go. Breathe. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Belly. Belly and finger. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Relax as much as you can. You're in control here. You're the one doing this. You're going against your body's physiology to a certain extent, but you are more powerful. You have the power to control your body from a cellular level. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Nice. Doing great. Keep it up. You want to feel your diaphragm. Breathe into the belly. For me, it helps to already stick out my belly and then just stick it out a little bit more. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Nice. One minute has gone by during the recovery. Keep it up. We'll do another 90 seconds. Because this one can be more challenging for some folks, so it takes a longer recovery period to come back. But it's important that you maintain as rapid and shallow breath as you can during this phase because the healing is still taking place. You still have that excess of carbon dioxide that's floating around. And so these cells are really craving oxygen. So they're opening up and you're releasing this crap that's stored in the cells that's not healthy, that you don't need. It's called hypoxia, hypoxia. It's very healthy. In, out, 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 in, out. Just relaxing more, less movement, as minimal movement as possible throughout the whole practice. The more still you are, the more focused you, become, you can become, the more calm you are, the more powerful this technique can be for you. 30 more seconds. In, out, in, out, in, out. Almost there. Fifteen more seconds. All right, and now going back to your normal nasal breathing. So maybe taking a deeper inhale than you have been. Just relaxing really refraining from the urge to just take a deep breath and then come back. No, just stay. Stay with the nose. And congratulating yourself. This is a difficult breathing technique. I teach, teach a lot of people breathing techniques and this is the least sexy one. <laughs> but it has the great rewards for those of you who are willing to stick with it so pat yourself on the back give yourself a hug you did it we're going to test our control pause one last time just to check back in and hopefully prove that you made some progress but we'll just allow yourself to rest and recover for now hmm. if you like you can stay with the eyes closed it's it's a beautiful way to meditate beautiful way to quiet the mind and just, yeah, I invite you to notice what's going on in your body. What took place? Did any fears come up or emotions being released? Because when the cell begins to release that stuff, who knows what's blocked? Who knows what's being caught there that's being released as you detox? So, all right, we're going to test our control pause here. 
So just regular breath in, regular breath out, and then after the breath out, just hold. And then when you feel the need to breathe, the first urge, you're not pushing yourself. It's been 10 seconds and you just do that. 15 seconds. So go as long as you wish. Sometimes I've gone up to like 45 seconds, 60 seconds control pause on a light stomach when I've been doing a lot of practice. But it really depends on you and where you're at. And so the first urge, it's been 30 seconds. If you're still going, great. Stay with it. This is what it should look like after you test your control pause. Now, 40 seconds. Forty-five. That's what it should look like. Very simple. It's not like, oh my gosh, I have to come back and kind of find my center. It's just like control pause and come back. It's kind of like the same way you, you hold your breath. And then after you exhale, you can go back to equilibrium. It's not something you're, you're pushing yourself. Those are the maximum pauses. So hopefully your control pause at the end, you could hold it for longer after doing the three maximum pauses in between. Um, otherwise... Maybe you messed up. Maybe I messed up. Who knows? No. Either way, you're doing great. So that is a little Buteco tutorial. Buteco tutorial for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe if you have any questions or comments about breathing, about the Buteco method, about yoga pranayama, about Wim Hof method, rebirthing, shamanic breathing, holotropic breathing. I am very fascinated by breath works of all types from all over the world I believe is very powerful and many of the rivers flow to the same ocean so there's a lot to be discovered in that realm so hope you found this helpful thank you for watching thank you for breathing maintain that nasal shallow rapid belly breath keep up with it I wish you all the best on your healing journey on your breathing and experimenting and whatever else you're doing so much love and bye <laughs>